So we're innovating to make products that consume less energy during the manufacturing process, as well as during their use. So Lenovo has set goals to improve the energy efficiency of our products by 2030, with a 50% improvement in desktops and servers, and a 30% energy efficiency improvement in laptops and phones. We've been integrating recycled content materials into our products for years. Our PC division has a goal to integrate recycled content into 100% of our products by 2025. Across the product portfolio, we're integrating sustainable materials in our packaging, like sugarcane and bamboo, and we're eliminating plastic, starting with our phone and notebook packaging. In the last few years, we've begun to think about our water resilience and make improvements in this area. We're guided by our own water resiliency policy, the six commitment areas of the UNCEO water mandate, as well as CDP's methodology for assessing water security. Today, we're annually monitoring and reporting on our own water use, and we're assessing our impacts, risks, and opportunities in this area, all with an aim to improve our overall water resilience. Lenovo Neptune brings in so many advantages for our customers. It helps them unlock the maximum performance, the maximum levels of density, while saving large amounts of energy. In fact, 30 to 40% less energy than traditional air-cooled data centers. That energy means less CO2 being output into the environment. It also means less need for air conditioning. So for data centers that use evaporative cooling, they're gonna save huge on the amount of water that it takes to run their data centers. While our customers can choose how they would like their products delivered to them, about one third of all of our ISG products now deliver at, from the factory pre-installed in Iraq. This is our version of bulk packaging. We're partnering with, for example, Maersk Eco Delivery Solutions for ocean freight shipments of PCs, smart devices, and infrastructure products. We also collaborate with DB Schenker and Lufthansa Cargo to fly 20 tons of our products per week using flights fueled by sustainable aviation fuels. We are trying to build a digital platform where we can allow our customers to review or have a real-time visibility on emissions against each of the shipments when they place orders. So when they compare different emission numbers generated by different modes of transportation, we will possibly change our customers' behavior. In 2022, Lenovo joined the CDP supply chain program and started to request Lenovo's key suppliers to disclose climate change related information to Lenovo through the CDP platform. It's another milestone for Lenovo to cascade it uh, sustainability and ambitions and actions along with the supply chain and take joint efforts with the suppliers to achieve net zero. 